Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with, uh, I almost said RimWorld because I've been playing RimWorld lately, but oxygen not included. And uh, things, uh, I did a little bit of stuff off camera since the last episode. Uh, I upgraded the wires in the base to two kilowatt wires. And I got most of that from the rock granulator. Which does waste a bit of metal. When you when you use this thing, half of the metal gets destroyed and turned into sand. Let's just see here. You can see the gold amalgam. Yeah, you get 50% gold and 50% sand. So it's a little bit of a waste because you get uh, regolith from up above at the top and that's that can be used to filter water. And it's essentially unlimited. But metal is also kind of unlimited now too because, at least iron, because it's always falling from space. And we have two copper volcanoes. So the only thing we're going to be kind of limited on is gold. But later on we can go to different planets, I think, and get gold. Uh, I have a hydrogen problem up here. What happened was I hooked this up to the natural gas grid, which is working beautifully. But because this thing is uh, giving all the power to this circuit, the hydrogen's never getting used up. So what I have to do is nick nick these things here. Priority 9. I'll just nick these two wires. Speed things up. And that way we'll use this power for something else, I think. I think the hydrogen hydrogen up here is going to be enough to power everything. Make sure my batteries are set correctly. Set those at 50 is fine. So now they're running, or they will be running, and that way it'll get used up. I got a comment about my oxygen setup being uh, not very good, and I agree. It it wasn't finished. <laughs> uh, I only had one pump for one electrolyzer, which is a bad ratio. You need two pumps to uh, two pumps at least to get a decent output out of this thing. Um, What's going on with the hydrogen here? I guess we're still not using a hydrogen. We're not we're not consuming enough power, but we're gonna we're gonna solve that pretty soon. We're gonna start using some more power this episode. Um But hopefully it gets used up a little bit faster, because that's taken a while. It should be a sealed room. I was gonna eventually put an airlock on there. Let's stick that on there. I'm gonna leave this open so the hydrogen can get back up there. Um, in fact, I'm going to remove this building here just so the air can get up there. We can consume it. I kind of want this to be kind of half, half full. Uh, so yeah, more pumps. You can, I think, have up to nine pumps to get these things to never overpressurized. But then you're using a ton of energy to get not so much oxygen. Uh, there's another complaint about the filter. Fair enough. Uh, you can do it with shutoff valves and the, uh, let's just see here, the gas, gas shutoff in combination. Ooh, canister filler looks totally different. They updated the art on that thing. Look at that. Beautiful. I like that. Never even noticed that yet. Um, so yeah, gas shutoff in combination with a gas element sensor. And I've tried that in the past past bases I use that. I didn't really like it though because sometimes you could get back up. And I know there's ways to use a double shutoff valve with a sensor and it saves power but we're not gonna have... I've never had a, a power issue. So we got some new dupes in the base. Uh, we got Gabe. We got Ultimate. Uh, who else? Hank who I think was on my list early on. I don't know what happened. I guess I just forgot to get him in there. And someone made a good observation. I didn't know this before, but... Actually, the the vital screen has the old names. And the consumable menu has the new names. But apparently dupes don't have a gender, so they have gender X. Which is kind of interesting. Even though some of them look more female than others, they don't have a gender. The CO2 levels are getting way too high here. Uh, oxygen pressure is falling. I might put a algae deoxidizer back in because this is not this isn't not this is not working good enough we could put another one in 
but this hydrogen is just not being consumed enough. So let's let's use up some power. Uh, let's see, what could we do? I want to play around with some of the new buildings. Virtual planetarium. This is new. You conducts interstellar research using data from telescopes and research modules. Now we can't actually use this yet, but I'm gonna build one just to see what it looks like because it looks cool. Um, what else do we have here? Chuke bot. That that uses a lot of power. So does the arcade cabinet. If we put this in here, will that work? Or will that ruin our... I think that might ruin our massage clinic. I think we want it in a different room. We don't need this wheeze wart here anymore. So I'm going to take this out. Maybe we'll make this a recreation room. Let's get rid of this compost. Don't really need it there anymore. Let's just clean this room up. Yeah, an algae deoxidizer. I'm going to temporarily put one of those in. Right there. Uh, what priority did I do that? Let's do that nine. Just to repressurize the base. Okay, this thing. Planetarium. Looks cool. We're actually not going to use it right away. Um... In order to build rockets, we need steel, and in order to make steel, unless we could make it in here. No, we need a refinery, a metal refinery. I have to make sure this thing's not giving off slime lung. We've got a uh, food poisoning in the air, but that's okay. That doesn't affect them. I'll make this priority eight. And we're, let me just check my algae, make sure my algae is not infected. Actually, I don't have a container for algae. That's fine. They can go run around and get it. There's a little bit more here I'll get. But the algae that's coming out of this thing is probably quite nasty. And we have lots of slime that we can dig up in order to process. I'll dig some of that out. Just keep strip mining all the slime out. No research focus, that's okay. Building lacks resources, yep. Okay, let's take this back down. We can't actually use it for a while, so... Just wanted to get a look at it. So, metal refining. Now, I could use this cool water here to cool... Uh, as a coolant. The metal refinery gives off a ton of heat. But I could just do it up here. And before the water goes into the sieve, I could heat it up. Usually I build my metal refinery near my oil processing, but let's just see. Metal refinery. Gives off a ton of heat. What can we make? What's this? Oh, we can make it out of fossil. Interesting. I will make it out of granite. I don't know if this is going to work. Is that where I want it? Uh, sure. Actually, I don't want it there. <laughs> I don't want it in the base because it's going to get mega hot. Uh, maybe I will put it up here. We can always... It's not as easy to move because it's going to have a hot, bunch of hot liquid in it. Let's try here. I might want to dribble some water on the floor, so I might put a little lip here out of sandstone. Let's get that priority eight. Wow, that did not work. Priority eight. There we go. This thing needs a ton of power. I forget how much. It probably just told me. Refinement. Uh... <laughs> 1.2 kilowatts. Okay, how much do we have on here? 1.2. Oh, but these are being powered by hydrogen. So let's get a new line. Uh, let's steal from this line. I know this is kind of Frankenstein wiring, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I'll use this line. Power. 
conductive wire. We have some iron left. So this I'll take up here for the refinery. There they go. Uh, it seems like they're doing it anyway, but I'll make it priority seven just so they really, really do it. Now this piping, before we send it into the sieve, I will uh, branch off here actually. We'll use insulated pipe with igneous rock. We'll come up this way. Go in here, and then we'll come back out. We should have done it at a higher priority. We'll go in right here. And then I'll nick this pipe here. Now, I don't think I have a plumber yet, so some of that water is going to probably fall out. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't have a plumber. Let's check our jobs. Make sure everyone's... Oh, we got some promotions to do. A lot. I haven't been paying attention. Sydney, Reggie. Get per. Oh, oh, come here. Reggie. And Stinky. Let's see if we can put Stinky here. Stinky needs courier. So Stinky will go over here. I'll try to cycle all the dupes through all the jobs later. But I kind of want them all to have the exosuit job so they can move quickly. Set that priority. I might just set some liquid dribble on the ground. That's going to go down by the door, which is going to fall down into <laughs> all the way down here. And there's some already there. The slicksters are looking pretty happy. I realize my vent is underwater, but that's okay. The other one is not, so... <laughs> or under oil, not underwater. Okay. Dupes, come and build this. What are you all doing? We haven't ran out of igneous rock. Maybe they're going down to the bottom of the map for that. That could be it. Okay, what are these guys doing? Oh yeah, they're getting igneous rock. Good. Oh, the other thing I did off camera was this was starting to overflow this way. So I had to dig down and leave more room for the water to fall down. I really need to move my pipe, or my pump down to the bottom, but I haven't done that yet. This thing was just gushing water. 11 kilograms per second. I think it's dormant at the moment yet, so this is all we have for now. And I don't think I did much else. Oh, I can't remember if I had this done already. Oh, the hydrogen was ending up here. So I put a pump here with an Atmos switch that says if it goes over 50 grams of pressure, which it is. Oh, I think it's just packed up. Yeah, it goes through here, goes through a filter. And I'm just using these nullifiers. They're not actually doing anything other than cooling the surrounding area. Eventually I'll, I'll use them for some useful cooling. Maybe I'll move my oxygen production in here. I don't really know. That's what I usually do. I usually set up all my oxygen production by the nullifiers. I get nice cold oxygen and then I pump that into the base. That's probably the, the way to go, but... Okay, no power. What the... Oh, maybe I just forgot to hook this up. We will fix that. Priority 9. And then we gotta fill it up. Uh, oh, we got... Oh, it's filling up. Nice, okay. What do we have that's stinking? bubbling water here. So we're going to put an insulated pipe. What I really should be using is ceramic because the water out of this is going to be really hot. I don't think I have enough ceramic though. 800. I could do two sections of pipe and that's it. So we'll do this. Oh, it just instantly built. Nice. And then we'll nick this. And some water fell down into our oil, but that's okay. 
And then we gotta pick something to make, and we're gonna do... Oh, we can't do steel. I think we need some more ingredients. We need, uh... We need refined carbon. Let's make some of that. Oh, I should, probably shouldn't do it here, though, because it's molten hot. But it's okay. Just a little bit will be okay. Let's open this door so they can move faster. I just realized there's a... Uh, oh, starvation. The starvation thing I don't get. There's a million calories. If they're all here, they can all get them. I guess it's just lag. Starvation. So there's some <laughs> sand here I gotta dig out. That coal generator's not do doing anything. Yeah, let's do some gold. Just to get this thing working. There they go. It might actually get too hot here. What I'm going to do is build an ice block. Well, we'll see how hot it gets. Oh yeah, it's getting mega hot already. When things are in water, uh, it's much better. Cool, much better. 38. Oh, they're going to get so hot here. Usually I, I get them to wear exosuits. <laughs> Let's put a wheeze wart here as well. Maybe another one here. This might be a bad idea, putting it here. Okay, the water coming out is at only 32, is that right? That doesn't seem like it's heating up very much. Now steel, I think, makes makes things heat up way more, so that might be worse. So we got to refine carbon. Let's make a little bit more. You can see it's getting warm around there. Yeah, this thing gives off quite a bit of heat. Now we can do steel. Let's back off that gold and do steel. Heat, 117 kilojoules. Versus gold was uh, 13 kilojoules. Okay, this is going to be hot. I never really thought about the, the difference in refining different materials before in terms of what they output. Does that make any sense? I didn't, I didn't realize different materials gave off different amounts of heat. Let's wrangle this guy. We don't want him eating our steel. Actually, he, he doesn't eat steel. Okay, how hot are we in here? 35. Not enough power. Uh. Oh yeah, these aren't running. What's going on here? No gas, really? No gas? Oh wow, I used up all my natural gas. Well then. That's kind of sad. That's very sad. Well, I'm gonna put these these in while there's no gas, because then, uh, okay, let's nick that. Actually, let's do it here. Yeah, used up all the gas. That'll go in there. And let's build a few more of these just to store some gas. Doesn't seem like we need it, but... Gotta take some stuff out here. Put another... deodorizer over here. I'll put another mesh tile here. Okay, and then the plumbing, or not the plumbing, but the gas pipes will go in there, and then out here, in there, out here, in there, out here, and then in there. 
can get rid of all that. Beautiful. That way we'll have some more gas storage here. Now we have, we have gas storage in the room itself. But this thing is dead like a doornail. We used it all up. So we need alternative power. What I'm going to do is since we have such a pathetic amount of natural gas, we will do coal. Coal generator. We're going to put three of those in. Let's put four of those in. We have 18 tons of coal, so... Oh, that's not going to work. We can get rid of this ladder. See, I didn't plan anything. It's all fly by the seat of my pants. So that'll all hook up. That's good. I don't know what that alert was. It went away too fast. Let's set these all to 100 and priority 7. Just realized there's no copy settings for these. 100, priority 7. Oh, and we need automation so they don't run all the time. Iron, priority 8. Through here. And we'll hook that all up to the same battery. That'll con This battery will control everything. Set that to 50. Perfect. Hundred, pretty seven. I think I got that all good. That battery's fully charged, so now this should be working again. Get some steel going. The hydrogen is making its way up, that's good. Gotta make sure this has a backup. This doesn't have a backup coal generator. I should probably put that in just in case. The dupes sound like they're... The dupes are funny sounding. It sounds like they're like... I'm gonna say farting, but they're not. No flatulent dupes. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in there. Let's queue up some more. I don't think we have... We're missing some stuff. We are missing lime. Which we can get from eggshells, or we can get from fossils. Let's just do fossils continuously. Because we did, we did dig a lot out from the bottom. Pressure looks good in the base again, mainly from this algae. That's good. Okay, more dupes. Should we take on more dupes? Uh, I think it's safe. Let's go with... Flatulent? No. Slow learner? No. Irritable bowel I can live with. Gossman. Welcome. And you will become... A... Gopher. I'm doing gopher first so we can get them through exosuit sooner than later. Got some sweeping to do here. I did put more storage in, but it's full already. Our hatch farm is coming along. We got lots of hatches. Little babies being born. Okay, we got steel. How hot is it in here? Oh, it's nice and cool now that we put our little ice thing in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're pounding away here on this thing. This thing is going to get nice and hot. Let's go do some more exploring and such. Oh, I put more exosuits in. That's the other thing I put in. And their oxygen meters are looking pretty good there. This water I still haven't tied into, but there's so... It's a pitiful amount in there. So they're getting fossil. That's diamond. There's more fossil in there. Let's strip mine. Just keep strip mining down here. 
and I could probably do this as well. I don't want to crack into here. That would be very bad. There's not really any CO2 coming down here. Oh, there's a geyser here. I want to see what that is. Let's get over there. Get that fossil. Might as well dig that out. Oh, they're so happy. This is probably going to be an oil thing, an oil fisher. Maybe? Seems like a strange place for it. Hmm. Now I'm very curious. Come on, dupes. Come and get it. Here they come. Whee! <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you for the comment about all the stuff ending up at the bottom of this. They were dropping stuff. And they're wasting a lot of time going down and getting all that stuff. I should put a break in it, but I just love watching them slide down. I could put some automation to convey it all, all the way back up. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's red. What is this thing? This is... That's a water geyser. Seven kilograms. What a weird place for a water geyser. Okay, that's going to be kind of... Hard to deal with. Because so we got all this oil in the way. What I'll do is I'll... Hmm. We really have to start using this oil. After we strip mine this down, it'll at least the water level, or the oil level, will at least go down. So we'll continue to do that. Let's do a little bit more here. And I can open all this up as well. Let's get in here. Oh, wow. Let's just keep going. Now, I gotta make sure there's no breaks in the... Now, look at this. This abyss light here is 1,200 degrees. This one's 400. If any oil touches this, it's gonna turn into sour gas. Oh, the fossil's got a new texture. Look at this. Wow. That's so cool. So what I gotta do is put some super insulator over these or things are gonna go bad. Things will things will boil where we don't want them to boil. Okay, I don't wanna go this way because all this will drain out. Oh, having a, having a nap. Get up. Get to work. Now, hopefully they can dig this without getting stuck. Can they do that? Let's find out. <laughs> Yeah, they can. Good. Same thing here. We gotta make sure it doesn't touch any super hot abyssalite or things will melt. That oil level's coming down. That's good. Do the same thing over here. Get this all done. I'll get my fire pole to go all the way down. Okay, we'll just let them work on that. I think we can go across a little bit more. Over there. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. And we'll have to start processing that oil. How is this looking? We got steel. Let's just try to do steel continuous. Iron to steel continuous. And they're making lime for us. That's good. Food's good. Any promotions? No. Okay, we'll probably just use super speed here. Make sure we have no idle dupes. Super speed is uh, 
You have to have debug enabled. You don't have to have it turned on, but it has to be enabled. And I like using it just so we can get through more in an episode. These nullifiers are not really cooling things down. Oh, we have a break. Look at this. We have a break in the... Another break in the abyssalite here. We gotta fix that. There's all this cold and it's just dumping out here. So let's use... I'm gonna use ceramic here. Because I really don't want any of that getting out. Ceramic's the best insulator we have so far. Later on, uh, we'll get the super insulator from space. But we don't have that yet. There's a lot of oxygen here. They like hanging out here. Okay, so that's sealed. That's good. We'll stop losing heat out that way. Can they get out of there? Or they just they just like it. They like chilling in the chill. Okay, let's go back up here. Oh, I turned off super speed by mistake. Set this to, oh, that is set to harvest. Okay, let's get one of these wheeze warts. We don't need two here. It's easier to dig the tile than dig the wheeze wart. How cold is it here? Minus 46. Oh, we got another shovel. He's totally wigging out. I think these guys are broken. Hmm. Unless that's their default behavior. <laughs> so we got to get up into space in order to start making a, making a steel barrier. And that's what we're going to make our rockets out of eventually. Okay, we got idle dupes. I better set some digs here. Uh, that's all done. Just keep going down here. Make sure we don't hit any super hot abyss light. Okay, priority eight. We're gonna do this. Just keep making our way down. Make an igneous rock ladder down to the bottom. Not like that, but kind of like that. Okay, I don't wanna go too deep. Cause we'll hit yeah we'll hit that sour gas I'll go to here so this will be the bottom and then we need a pump oil liquid pump make that out of okay, let's check steel overheat temperature 200 nice so that could go in really hot oil for now we'll just stick it there I need to start collecting this water and actually, I'm not even using the water over here yet. <laughs> over here yet. Let's see. Look at this. Scalding. Really? What are they doing down here without their suit on? How is that even possible? Did I mess up my... Ah. Uh, there we go. You are going back up here. Back in the base. I don't know how you got out. Okay, the way, only way they can get out is down through there. There's no other way. I don't think they can get over from there. No. I don't know how she got down there. Seems very odd. Let's go that way, this way. That's gonna need power. Let's just use gold. I'll probably power this with coal. Where do we want the coal generator? Uh, it's super hot here, 100 degrees. I have a feeling all this heat is getting in. 100 degrees, oh yeah. We've got a major problem here. We probably have tears in the, uh, or stuff. I think something is touching really hot abyss light in here somewhere. Oh yeah, 177. 430, oh yeah, okay. 
We need some insulation going up this way. Because this is all blistering hot and all that heat is dumping in. Let's see. If I don't deal with this now, uh, this whole area is going to get super cooked. Super cooked. So let's do igneous rock ladder. I'm just going to start... I'll build a insulated wall all the way along here. I'll use igneous rock. We got a ton of it. So that'll match up with the and this light there. I think that'll work. And then this is super hot here as well. So we need a bottom as well. And this is not a great insulator, so this heat is going to just slowly work its way in. Until we get our super insulator from space, this is going to be a half measure. We don't want it to get to like 125 degrees, or this pump won't work. Unless we use steel, which is an option. Okay, there they go. Don't get stuck over there. Watch them get stuck. Yeah, don't don't get stuck. Get over here. They like to they like to trap themselves. Ah, uh, they can't reach that. Okay, that'll work. Build my little minions. Do they all have suits on? Oh, they're, they're complaining about being hot and they're in their exosuits. That, I don't get it. They should be fine. These things have insulation, I think. Stinky, toasty surroundings. Hmm. I should probably not be doing these at 8. Let's do these at 7, because there's other stuff going on that's important. Oh, look at all these guys. They're just... Feasting on the carbon dioxide that's not really there. Skill increase. Oh, I've been neglecting my levels up. Level ups. Gabe. Oops. I just moved the wrong person. I forgot where Ada, Ada was. <laughs> was she over here? No. Uh, I forget where she was. Ada. Oh, let's stick her there for now. Perfect. CO2 level's a little bit high in here. How much power do we have here? 1.86. We could suck a little bit, bit of this out. Send it down using this pipe, I think. It's carbon dioxide, yep. So here's what I'll do. Uh, gas pump. Stick it right here. Atmos sensor. Stick it right here. Actually, I'm going to make this go into an AND gate. So, if the pressure is over a certain amount and we detect carbon dioxide, which we should always, and we'll put that into an AND gate. Let's rotate this. So it'll go like this, and and then the pump will run. It needs power. Actually, how much power do I have on this line? 720. Uh, let's use this good power line. Connect the wire. Build it. There we go. Conductive bridge. Okay. 
And then we need the actual ventilation. Suffocating. What has happened? Really? I think Ultimate's going to be ultimately dead here, because there's no... How do they jump from here to here? It's a bug in the game. I don't think they're going to make it. Oh, that's, is that Neutronium? Well, they can't even dig that. We can make a ladder, but I think they're going to die. They, we didn't really get much warning there. Just kind of... That's igneous rock, so they should be able to build that. Yeah, get up there. Get up there. Oh. That was close. Very close. No warning. Okay, what was I doing before that emergency? Building my little pump here. So, if the pressure is over, let's say, 600, and we detect carbon dioxide, pump that gas out. And I might need to go into a bridge to fuse these two things here. So, I'll put a bridge there. And then we'll put a bridge over here. Like that. So the two ends meet. So when you have two outputs like this from two bridges, they can fuse together nicely and and kind of direct the gas down there. Otherwise, if you had these two meeting at this point, some would go one way, some would go the other way, and it would be a total mess. Okay, someone got... someone needs promotion. Stinky. This menu, it's just a bit of tedious micromanagement. I kind of don't like it. I hope they fix it in some way. I don't, I don't really know how they can fix it, but... Wow, we have so much sand. I always do that. I always do that. Okay. How's the steel going? Pipe blocked. Yeah, that's the downside of doing it this way. So the water's coming out at 84. That's good. And then we destroy all that heat in here. The surrounding area might get a little bit warm, but that's okay. So we're only able to refine kind of as fast as we consume this water. which is not very fast. We could double up our oxygen production here. And I think I might. Let's do it. Electrolyzer. Right there. Two pumps. That'll need water. It'll also need power. And then, oh. Why do I have these? Oh, I have these pumps high for the <laughs> wheeze warts. Usually I do them flush, right, with the uh, electrolyzer. Then we need ventilation with a filter. I'm not gonna, I probably won't keep with, keep this set up. It's very temporary, even though I keep expanding it. Because it's it's not how I usually do it. I should have just built it over in the cold room. Yeah, I should have built it in here. Got some water melting in here. Yeah, because we're, we're, make, we're making all this coal and we're not even using it. 
I'm trying to freeze this whole area. Or are they gonna get stuck? Yeah. <laughs> God. Probably see that coming. Unreachable food, yeah. Not a problem. I do have an electrolyzer in here as well. That is just to create hydrogen for these things, which ends up up here. Uh, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try building oxygen in the base, but I think it's not going to work very well. <laughs> uh, hmm. Don't think it's going to work very well. <laughs> but I'm going to keep adding to it. We got stress at 40, that's not good. So we'll duplicate what we have here. That needs power as well. Forgot to set this coal generator. Insufficient coal, really? No, not not true. I don't believe it. I didn't plan this out very well. Not at all. And this is a disaster as well. Sorry, folks. Sorry for the. <laughs> I tried to do things differently, tried to do experiments, but this is quite terrible. Quite terrible. Uh, let's use gold here. Actually, let's use iron. We are filtering out oxygen. In fact, I could just send everything out. And then the hydrogen would float back to the top. That would actually be better. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Forget the filter. Forget it. We're just going to go straight down. And a little bit of hydrogen will go out, but that's okay. I should go... This piping's going to be a bit messy. I'll go down this way. Put some oxygen... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's... <laughs> we'll take it this way. It doesn't really need to be insulated. Did I do insulated? And I'm doing sandstone. What am I doing? What are you doing? Okay. Gas bridge. I'm going to use regular pipe because it's all going in the base anyway. Ah. And then we'll stick it. For now, we'll stick some here. Yeah, hmm. Not my best performance. I should stick with my standard builds. Because I know they work. Tried and true. These showers, they waste a lot of time. They waste a lot of water, they waste a lot of time. But they give them plus three morale. Which is good. How's this how's this steel going? Oh look at them, they're just standing in front of it like they're Oh yeah, the steel that comes out, pretty hot as well. Not too bad. Now I forgot to make an exosuit dock at the top for them. 
to go into space. But maybe I'll just let them go into space without it. Okay, this this line is flowing. Good. Actually, the hydrogen's going to end up here. Actually, it's going to flow out into into here. <laughs> oh, we'll deal with that later. More dupes? With the number of mess tables, we could go to 16. Let's do it. Both breather, loud sleeper, flatulent. Uh, reject all. We'll wait for the next one. Oh, I have these on the same battery. That's not good. It should be on a separate battery. Because we want the coal only to work when the hydrogen runs out. These are all generating heat, which I don't like. Okay, so the automation should not be connected here. But should be connected here. Okay, good. And we'll set this battery as the lower, kind of a lower priority. That should work, I think. So if you run out of hydrogen, the coal should chick it, uh, should uh, kick in. What's going on here? They got. What is this? There's this indicator here. I don't even know what this is for. Looks like a dupe's health bar, but... What is that? Is that the amount of coal in it? No, that's that one. That's weird. Oh, overload damage. What? Really? Oh, I got a... I got a little piece of wire there. Okay, that's what the problem is. I have some of my leftover wire. You guys probably noticed that. I didn't notice it. Let's fix that. Oh, I guess I could have just upgraded the wire. Is that all of it? I think that's good. No more, no more overload, overload damage. Okay, we got steel. Let's... What? Is that overloading now, too? What is going on? Oh, yeah, I missed this wire, too. Oh, let's just upgrade it. Oh, jeez. Upgrade that. Anything else? It's really hard to miss the... Or easy to miss the little tiny pieces of wire. Okay. Uh, should we go into space? I think we should. Without exosuits. This will be fun. Let's put an airlock here so all the hydrogen doesn't vent out. Take that ladder out. Um, actually, let's do it right here. Some of it's going to escape, but... It's pretty... Space used to get way hotter. Oh, like this over here. Hmm. So put an airlock there. And then uh, let's just get into space without exosuits. We'll see how they, uh, see how they do. <laughs> oh, that's all going to fall down there and block their ladder, isn't it? I'm going to put some emergency ladder down here. Because the regolith will fall down. Oh wow, we can't even dig that. That's snow in the way. OK, 
Okay, that's probably not what I wanted. Are they stuck? Why are they standing there? They can go that way, they can go that way. What are they doing? Oh, they're just idle. Go home. Surface breach. Here we go. We get some good music. My duplicates have managed to breach the surface of our rocky prison. Oh, Justin's stuck. Get out of there. It's cold. I should be careful. This region is extremely inhospitable. Yeah, and they could get hit with a meteorite. That would have hurt. We're going to keep going up. We're going to the... As high as we can go here. And then we'll build some steel at the top. Let's see here. Uh, tile. I want bunker tile. Oh, do I not have bunker tile yet? There I do. So it's 100 for bunker, bunker tile or 500 for door. I'm just going to use bunker tile for now. I will build a little tiny roof here. Just so that the regolith doesn't fall down the ladder. Once they get up there, priority 8. Doing this without exosuits probably is unwise. Oh, they're bright and cheerful from the sun. Let's check the light overlay. Oh, that's crazy. That meteorites block the light. Hm. Now this iron is... Oh, that iron's cold. Interesting. That's a long way for them to go without breathing. <laughs> we got a lot of oxygen in here. Let's let this out. That's going to heat up this biome a bit, but... That's okay. I'll let them breathe the stinky air. How much is in there? 2,000. Put a deodorizer in there. Into space. Oh. That should be high enough to expose everything. Maybe. Yeah, how hot is this? This is nice and cold, actually. We could dig all this up. This is a bit hot. Not too bad. What I want to do is build a steel shield across the whole top of space, which is usually what I do. That's hot over there. Okay, where's the top? Maybe I won't build it just yet. We gotta reach the top first. Where is the top? <laughs> now this ladder could get destroyed by meteorites. But we gotta get up there. Let's go super speed. Hopefully they can make it to the top. Oh, there's the top. Okay. I'm not going to go to the very top, but I'll go pretty darn close. And we'll do bunker tile right across here. Oh, and I need a... I need a little floor for them to be able to build that. Actually, let's do it. Four high, three high, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do the little floor here. That'll get destroyed, but that's just to temporarily build that out. It's the stairway to heaven. Get up there. Build. I should probably check the base for Make sure everything is still good. It's probably not. It's probably floods and stuff. Now, how much metal do I have? How much steel do I have? Uh, 
I have 900 steel. So that'll be like 700, I think. And we can't build any rockets yet. But we can build a command module. Okay. But no steam engine. We need a lot of steel for that. This was just for me to get up here and see what was up there. That's not going to protect this ladder because the asteroids can come in, meteorites can come in from the side and just destroy this thing. But I do want to build my, uh, uh oh, crap. Meteor shower. Meteor shower. Build it quickly. Okay, they don't need that. They don't need that. Oh, wow. You're probably wondering why am I doing this. Uh, just to... I don't know. Just to see. I haven't seen any shovels. I kind of want to flatten this out as well. Looks like there's little streams of gas when they come through. Actually, we don't need to dig any of that. It's going to get all reformed anyway. Okay, they're probably going to go try to repair the ladder, so I'm going to, for now, I'm going to lock this door. So they can't go out there. So we need an observatory up there, and we need a door to protect it. Let's just see our station. Uh, we need a telescope. That needs power, it needs oxygen, and a dupe has to get inside of it. And it needs access to the uh, to the sky to be able to do its business. In order to detect that, I think we need another building. I think it's under automation, space scanner. Now this thing works no matter whether it has access to the sky or not. It works better, I think, if it can see the sky. But we're gonna have to build one of these. And it has to be protected, so we might build it underneath this bunker shield that I'm building. And I should have built these a little bit lower. But I don't think we're ready to go into space yet. I just wanted to have a little peek. A little peek in there. Got this oxygen coming out, that's good. Probably have some promotions to do. Gossman. And Captain G. Let's start you back at the beginning. I can't remember whether you have this stuff already. Yeah, you're done that. You've done that. What about this, Captain G? No. Temperature is nice and warm in here, 36 degrees. Not exactly what I want, but. And we're sending hydrogen to the base. <laughs> Food is actually going down. Because we haven't been farming any slime. But that's not a problem. We got so much slime here. Oh, they never built this. Because I forgot to put the platform. This is still empty. This is overflowing. We're getting close to overflowing. I really should make it so that they can only get here with exosuits. Now all this algae is going into a few places. It's going into the slime, or into the mushroom farm. It's going into the algae distiller. And any excess goes underwater here in this container. So the, the nasty gas doesn't spill out. I should probably put a compost right 
beside this thing. Okay. Uh, what to do next? More steel. Still working on that fossil. More, uh, more of this stuff. And we got a pipe blocked here. It'll slowly work its way through. Because we're using it up for the oxygen. Decent. I'm happy with that. We could get rid of this other filter. Actually, that, that one needs pure oxygen because it's going to the exosuits. What I really need to do is find another natural gas geyser because... Oh, we got another nullifier down there. Okay. Oh, I knew that already. Um, Natural gas. Where are you? Let's explore to the left here. We haven't seen any of that yet. I zoom out with uh, screenshot mode if you're curious. Stick a door here to prevent the puff from getting out. And we'll go across to the left. Uh, this is all broken. This is all gonna warm up. Maybe I should go a different way. Oh, yeah, we can go this way. Yeah, this looks better. There's some puffs in there. Stick a mesh door here. Go across. I guess we don't really need the mesh door. We're gonna do this instead. And then I can get in here. I don't think I'm going to find natural gas in here, but I do want to see what's in there. Go super fast. I thought I would get more done this episode, but I'm kind of scatterbrained. It's because I'm trying new things. Not going with the tr tried and true. A lot of slime lung in here. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Should really build exosuits. Their seem their immunity seems to be handling it though. So far. Free food in there. Clean this air out. Poor puffs are gonna not have any fresh air. What do we have over here? Some lockers. Oh, there's a geyser there. That's a good sign. Let's go up this way. Let's see what this is. This is all melting. Yeah, the biomes are just so broken. All these points of interest are breaking all the breaking all the seams. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Let's just take this ladder. Uh, should I build it there? Yeah, depending on what geyser that is. I'm actually going to go this way through here instead. Okay, what's inside? I can hear it. 
think I can hear it. What is it? Oh. What will it be? It is something. <laughs> can I click it? Not quite. I don't want to actually release the gas or whatever it is. If it's a volcano, that would be really bad. I think it is though. Oh, it's a gold volcano. Oh, wow. I like gold volcanoes, but that's not exactly what I was looking for. Let's go in here. Go in here. Set these to harvest. I haven't been timing this episode. I don't really know how long I've been going. Are they all stuck now? I think they are. So I'm going to wrap things up here. I wanted to do more. Gabe, what are you doing? Get out of there. Wow, they just disappeared into the ice. So weird. Okay, they're getting the food. That's okay. Back to the base. So, next episode. Oh, the CO2 cleared out of there really nicely. I think... Maybe this thing was too overzealous? Hmm. But that's okay, actually. CO2's trapped in here. That's all I needed. Oh, no. All this food is rotting. No. <laughs> Disable this. Uh, I gotta move the food. Hmm. All the food is going to rot. Uh, we could stick it in here. Seems like a good little pocket. Uh, I should put it in a little basin somewhere. That's what this was supposed to be. I'll fix that off camera. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. I know it was really not great. But we did get steel started. I'll probably move all this oxygen over here. Back into the cold area up here. Because that makes more sense. I thought I wanted to try it in the base. And it was an interesting experiment. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to work. So as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.